chaos is not something that is foreign to us, especially in this day and age. I mean, if you were looking for drama, you can quite literally walk outside and find some within two milliseconds. But with all this catastrophe surrounding us, how do we live? Mentally, how do we stay afloat? How do we find peace? Hi, my name is Theatis Durden, and this is the Compass Podcast, where I talk about my experience navigating life and hopefully helping you with your journey. So I've talked before on how I grew up with a big family and how that entire experience was and how it shaped me and all of that. And if you were or are a part of a big family, then you know how chaotic it can be. Everywhere you turn, somebody's hitting someone, arguing, fighting there. And sometimes you get caught in the crossfire of these situations. Or maybe you were the one who was throwing the blow. So you have to remember with these things that we can also play a role in the chaos that surrounds us. But this part can be tricky because we don't understand how we're doing it. Remember that we are spiritual seed planters. So when you plant the seed of drama and water it with envy and expose it to hatred, a lot of hatred, chaos is born from that. It is grown from that because no matter how slick you think you are, eventually it will come back for you. So you have to recognize when you are the problem. And if you're having an issue with self-awareness, that is okay. Just know that it starts with knowing your better self. Get to know the person you want to be. So when you find yourself doing something or operating in something that the new version of you, 2.0 you, uh, wouldn't do, you can catch yourself before it is too late. So you have to know that chaos doesn't just happen. Chaos is manifesting constantly through unresolved issues and drama. Chaos thrives in ignorance because if a person is ignorant to the root of their issues, it is just that easy to say it was somebody else's fault that they did whatever it is that they did. So finding peace in chaos is a lot less about isolation and cutting yourself off the world contrary to popular belief, but it's more about confronting the root of your issues head on. It's like a plant. Yes, above ground, we see the manifestation of what the plant has become, but if we want to get rid of that plant, we have to dig into the root of it so we can completely get it out of our way. So now is the time to start analyzing yourself. Figure out where is my pain coming from and uproot it. Now is the time to draw a map of your life and ask God to lead you down the path that will show you how can you become the person that you want to be. As you can tell, a lot of finding peace and chaos has a lot to do with finding yourself. You have to find some individuality because chaos can be very consuming. And if you're not careful, you will find yourself blending right in. You see, having peace in the midst of chaos doesn't make chaos go away. But having peace in the midst of chaos, it kind of allows you to not be consumed by what goes on around you. So here are some tips that I personally have found beneficial to navigating peace in a world that is so full of chaos. First thing is to embrace what you love. In this world, it is very easy to think about the negative things and what we hate about this life. That's not going to help you at all. That's not going to make you feel better. Consistently consuming and creating negative energy only plays into a soon-to-be mental breakdown. And you know it's true. You become like a python, slowly but surely squeezing the life out of your dreams and passions. So find what you love and hold on to that part. If you love music or dancing or cooking or whatever it may be, fully immerse yourself in that experience. Don't half do it. Let your love for that thing engulf you. And so now that little love you have for that becomes passion. It becomes something that gives you a reason to want life more abundantly. And yes, it is easier to think about what you hate, but it's better to think about what you love. Also, make time for yourself. How can you ever know who you truly are if you never spend time with yourself? I mean, come on now. 
And no, I don't mean sitting in your room depressed and watching TikToks for five hours straight. That is not what I'm talking about. I mean, watching movies to figure out what your favorite genre is or reading books to see if you are even a reader. Play an instrument that you've never played before to see if maybe you have a hidden talent that's not yet discovered. I said in the previous uh, episode that God is a complex, you know, God is complex. And because we are created by him, we are also complex in some of that same way. So there's a lot of stuff about you that you still don't know about yet. And you should give yourself the opportunity to explore that part of you, explore the unknown parts of you. I mean, we're like a seven layered cake. You may not know what pieces you're going to get next, but you know, it's going to be delicious. And I just know that whatever it is that you discover about yourself, it's going to be awesome. I just know it is going to be great. So give yourself the room to be somebody else. I was just on the phone with my brother the other day and he was talking about reinventing yourself. He said, I'm always here for a reinvention of a person because it, uh, it shows that you're not closed off to the idea of change because if you're closed off to the idea of change, then you will never, ever grow because growth is connected to change. You cannot grow and still be the same person who you used to be. And so that is the third thing you have to allow yourself to grow, allow yourself to grow and Growing in chaos can be very difficult because it's already so much going on. There are already so many opinions and you want to do this and you want to do that. But if you truly know who you are and like we said earlier, if you really hone in on who you really are, you will have no issue. You will be able to grow in even the most deserted areas. You'll be like. I don't even know if there's like a plant <laughs> or something, you know, there's, there's some type of plant to where it can grow in any environment. And that is going to be you. If you stick to it, if you just persevere, and if you truly give yourself the opportunity to be a new person. Thank you all so much for tuning in and listening. If you want to know when the next episode is coming out, go follow my Instagram and TikTok under at the compass podcast. You are amazing and I love you. Goodbye, good night, good morning, good evening. Have a great day at work, school, or wherever it may be that you are going. Deuces.